Split View allows you to divide your iPad display and have two apps or windows side by side. In this video, we'll deep dive into Split View, showing you how to enter, use, and exit Split View in iPadOS 16. I want you to note that Split View is not available on your iPhone. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from ellenstipsforios.com, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Let's start with a walkthrough of all the ways you can access Split View. In this first option, we're going to use the multitasking icon. So we're going to open an app. And in this case, I'll open up Safari. The multitasking icon are these three dots located at the top. Once I tap on them, the app is going to slide to the far left, giving us access to our home screen, dock, and app library, where we can choose another application. So in this case, I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to choose the split view option. And now I'm going to come down and select notes. And now you'll see that both apps are open in split view. The second option is to use the dock. And so to use the dock again, this time we're just going to open an app. So I'll open Safari again. And then I'll swipe up from the bottom of my screen to access the dock. So you'll just start slightly off your screen and swipe up until you see the dock. And now I'm going to push and hold on an app. So in this case, I'm going to choose my mail icon. I'm going to push on it and I'm going to drag it over. I can drag it to either side. And then once I see that animation, that split view animation appear, I can drop it. But let me show you this. If I were to drop this app right now, it would go into slide over mode. So if you want your app to be in split view, make sure you're dragging it either to the left or right of the screen all the way over until you see that split view animation appear and then go ahead and drop it. Option number three, use the app library. So let's open Safari again. And then I'm gonna swipe up from the dock so that I can see everything. And I'm going to go ahead and open the app library. Once I do, I can choose any of these apps. And so I'll just grab the notes app, push and hold on it and drag it outside the app library and bring it over to either side and go ahead and drop it. And now you're in split view using the app library. Option number four, use the app switcher. This is one of my favorite options to put apps into split view. So to do this, you're going to swipe from the bottom of the screen until you enter into the app switcher. So as I swipe up, you'll see that now I'm into the app switcher and you can see all of your open apps here. So if I want to add an app to split view, let's start with Safari and notes. I'm going to tap and hold on Safari and drag it over and you'll see the split view animation appear and I'm going to drop it. I can also do the same. I have shortcuts open and the mail option or the mail app open. I'm going to grab mail and drag it and drop it. Now, there are going to be some apps that don't allow split view. Let me show you. If I grab Chrome and I drag it on top of settings, you'll see that it won't work. If I do the same, if I drag settings up to Chrome, it won't work. But if I take Chrome and drag it over to Facebook, it'll allow me to put those apps into split view. Now that we have pairs of apps uh, available to us in split view, to open them, you just tap on them. So if I tap on uh, the notes and Safari option, you'll see that those apps um, come into split view. If I swipe up to get rid of those and I come back into the app switcher, they all remain in split view. And 
I can access any of them by just tapping on them. Now, to get rid of apps in Split View, it's easy to do inside of the app switcher. If you want to remove an app, all you need to do, I'm going to swipe up on the mail app and I'm going to swipe it away. And now shortcuts becomes full screen. So if you want to exit Split View in the app switcher, just swipe up on the app you want to get rid of and it'll come out of Split View. The last option is option five, Spotlight Search. This method works best with a keyboard attached to your iPad. So we'll open our first app, which is Safari. And now when I tap on the command key and the space bar, you'll see that Spotlight Search appears. If I type in an app, so I'll go ahead and type in Notes, now, if I just drag that app with my finger or with the mouse, if I push and hold and drag it, you'll see that it comes out of Spotlight Search and I can drag it to either side to enter into Split View. Once you're in Split View, the default view divides the two apps in half, each having 50% of the screen. You can set either app to 75% by just grabbing this gray bar in the middle and dragging it to the left or right. So if I drag to the right, Safari is 75% and the Notes app is 25. I can drag the other way as well. And now Safari would be in the 25% category and your notes app would be 75%. Now, the other option with the gray bar is if I slide either way, all the way to the edge, I can exit split view. So if I drag to the left, I can close out Safari. If I drag to the right, I can go ahead and close out the notes app. So that's how you exit split view. You can also change the positions of the app. So if you want them uh, on the opposite side, if you just come up to the multitasking icon, grab it and slide it over, you can change the position of the apps. Here's where split view becomes very useful. You can drag and drop things between apps. So if I push and hold on uh, the image here on the screen, if I push and hold it, I can now drag that image over to the Notes app. You'll see the little green plus button appear. And if I drop it, it will add that image to the Notes app. I can also grab text. So if I copy some text and I push and hold on it and drag it, I can now add that text to the Notes app. So that's where split view becomes really useful. You can also open the same app in split view. So apps like files, notes, messages, calendars, reminders, all of those can be open in split view. And why would you want to do that? Well, let me show you. So if I come into my files app and I'm inside, if you can see that I'm inside the inbox folder in my files app, but what if I wanted to move some of these files over into a folder in iCloud Drive? If I push and hold on iCloud Drive, I'll get an option to open a new window. And now when I do that, now iCloud Drive is open in the files app as well as the inbox. And now I can drag files, documents, folders between the two. Let me show you how that works a little bit differently inside the Notes app. So if I go ahead and I open the Notes app and I want to open a note, another note in split view so that I can see the two notes, what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and push and hold on a note and I'll get the option to open in a new window. 
Well, when I do, because the Notes app supports uh, what's known as a uh, centered window, it appears in the center. But all you need to do is grab the multitasking icon and slide it over. And now you can work within two notes inside of the Notes app in Split View. The last thing I'll go over is how do you exit all of these split view windows? Well, there really are three simple options. You can come up to the multitasking icon and click on it and hit close, and then it would close this notes window. The second option, which I've showed you already, is to grab the gray bar and swipe to the left or to the right all the way off the screen, depending on which app that you want to close. And then your last option, which we've talked about, is to swipe halfway up the screen to come into the app switcher. And once inside the app switcher, just swipe the app that you want to remove from the split view option. And those are all the ways that you can exit split view. That pretty much covers everything in split view. Do all apps support Split View? Unfortunately, no. The Settings app, GarageBand, iMovie, Camera, Photo Booth, iTunes, and a few others cannot be opened in Split View. The same goes for opening more than one window of the same app. Apps like the App Store allow Split View but don't support opening two windows. Let me know if you're using Split View and if you haven't tried it yet, Give it a try. It can be handy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.